So this is the base coat that I'm using now, and it is SE First Base Base Coat. And uh, in the bottle it looks a little bit um, bluish green, but when you apply it on your nail it's clear. So why I like this base coat is because it protects my nails from yellowing seriously. Like, I put on nail polish for every day of the week with this base coat, and when I took it off, it, my nails were like white. Like, my tips of my nails were white, so that's really good, and I really like this. And it helps keep my nail polish on for quite a bit of time, so this is Essie First Base Base Coat. Um, now for the top coat, I use Essie Good To Go, and I really like this top coat because number one, it dries really fast, number two, it doesn't have um, a really foul sm smell, and number three, it doesn't have a, s a warning that says that it might cause birth defects like sesh feet, and it just dries super fast and adds a really super glossy finish to it, so this is really great. Uh, okay, on to favorite colors. I'm going to start with China Glaze. Um, this is the one I have on right now. And this is called Street Chick by China Glaze. Um, please don't mind the scratched of n letters because my nail file scratched it off. But anyways, it's a really pretty brown, light brown chocolate to brown color like this. It's a cream finish so it's really glossy even without a top coat. Uh, this one I applied two coats to get this color and it's really great. The formula is great and everything is great about it. So this is a really great color. It's appearing lighter than the actual but yeah. Great chocolatey color. Next would be China Glazes for Audrey. The color by China Glaze that is really close to um, Tiffany and Co's um, Tiffany Blue. And I really like this color because it's really unique. It is an aqua color. People say it's a turquoise, but it's more to the blue side actually. But you can see a hint of green in it. This formula is also really great. Um, I apply two coats of this to get the exact color in the bottle. And that's really great for me because I don't like to go over my nail for more than two times. So the formula is like this. Not too runny. Oops. Not too runny and not too um, gloopy either. So this is China Glaze for Audrey. Next on to OPI. So this one is the OPI that I really, really like. This one is called Bring on the Bling. And as you can see, it's a really pretty multicolored glitter that has a gold as a base color. Um, if you look closely, there's like different colors of glitter, like green, gold, red, purple, blue... It's a really, really pretty glitter, and um, this applied really well. Like, I think all of their other glitters are the same formula. They need about two coats to get um, the color in here. These are a pain to take off. Like normal glitters, they need extra attention to um, take them off, and you need like a special way to take them off with aluminum foil and um, nail polish remover but this is a really pretty color overall and this is called bring on the bling by OPI now on to Essie's so the first one I'm going to do from Essie is Essie's turquoise and Caicos and this one is, I would say, the perfect turquoise color for me. I don't really like to wear light, like really, really light colors like these and really bright and vibrant colors like these because it just doesn't go well with my skin tone. But this one, I had to get it because it's such a gorgeous color. And if you're wondering, if you compare it to Fort Audrey, they kind of look the same. Um, but if you can see... China Glaze for Audrey is a little bit bluer than Turquoise and Caicos. 
but my camera sort of makes them look the same, but they are different. They are very different, actually. Turquoise and Caicos is really, like, green, and this one is blue. So, um, but what I don't like about some Essies, like this one, is that they are sheer. So this one, if, I wa if you want to get, like, the actual color in the bottle, like this, you would have to put three to four coats. And I don't like that. Even though I love this color, I seriously do not like their formula. That is not good. And I don't like to go over my nail more than twice, so... <sighs> Might not put this on as much, but I seriously love the color. This is gorgeous. Next would be Essie's Fondola Gondola. It's a really pretty dusty rose pink it's like there's a hint of tint of purple and a tint of gray in there i had to get this color this is so unique this is the most unique pink color ever this is the prettiest dusty pink color ever and i just simply had to get this color this is a great dusty pink color it looks elegant it looks nice great for any occasion. So this is Fondola Gondola. Okay, next one is Essie Carousel Coral. And as the name of the polish hints, it is a coral color, a pink coral color. On the camera, it looks a little um, dustier but it is very different than the Fondola Gondola. This one is much more vibrant and um, bright than this one. So this one is just your average pink coral color, a little bit peachy pink, and this one tints a little bit to the orange side, so I love, about, I love that thing about it. Um, so I had to get it because I've been trying to find a coral color forever, and this is the perfect coral shade that I, I wanted to find, so... This one is called Carousel Coral. The last Essie that I'm going to talk about is this one. And this one is called Ladylike. This one is a really, I would describe it as a muted sort of purplish gray color. It is elegant. You can, uh, it's definitely appropriate for work in school. In some lights, it even looks nude, but if you're wondering, this also does not look like um, the Fondola Gondola because now we put it side by side, Fondola Gondola looks a lot pinkish and purplish than this one, and this one just looks plain gray. But in real life, the camera is not doing these colors justice. In real life, this color is actually a grayish purple, so... This is appropriate for work and school if you're looking for something elegant and not too vibrant and bright. So this is Ladylike by Essie. The last color in my favorites color um, video is not probably not one of the most popular brands, but it's still out there. And this is called Can Make Colorful Nails. I think it's a Japan brand. Their brand name is actually called Can Make Tokyo, but anyways, this one, oh wait, it doesn't have a name, but here's the number if you're wondering, and I guess that's the number two, I don't know. And this color is a really, really pretty lilac color. I know Essie has a really pretty lilac color too called Lilacism, but I was hesitant to get it because I already had this color, and I like this color, so, um... Yeah, and it, this formula applies greatly, too. So it's like two coats, and you get the exact color here, and it's great. Um, it's a really, really pretty light lilac color. Yeah. So this wraps up my video of my favorite nail polish colors and my favorite nail polish sort of um, treatments like base coats and top coats. Hope you guys enjoyed and leave comments and please rate and don't forget to subscribe.